and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today I'll be unboxing and flipping through the Witch's Grimoire Oracle Deck set. So this set, if you haven't seen my last video, was sent to me by Grounded by the Moon. So Joseph, uh, who owns the company Grounded by the Moon, he sent me his latest collection. And in the previous video, I showed literally everything that he sent me. So he sent me all the journals, he sent me the set, a bunch of crystals, uh, the wraps, um, a card holder, so many things from this particular collection, which was really nice of him. If you haven't seen my latest video, definitely go check it out. I will leave it linked in the cards above. So if you click on the I in the top right hand corner, it'll be a link to there. So yes, yeah, so I didn't actually, um, apologies if you heard the dog, but all the time when I start to film, comes out and starts barking. <laughs> it's like he can hear me or something, but it's a nice day today and I have my window open so he can join in on the fun, I guess. He's like, as excited as I am to unbox these decks. Okay, so if if you haven't seen the last video, I didn't um, like actually unbox and flip through these particular decks in that video. I wanted to keep it for a separate video so we could really go through everything, show all the cards and everything like that. So before I get into it, this particular set retails for 200 USD. This set is limited edition. So the box set where it comes in this outer box like this is 200 usd for the set now if you would like to get the decks individually so maybe one deck you like more than the others or maybe like two out of the three uh, they each separately retail for 60 dollars so those are available on um, his website i'm assuming also on his etsy i will leave everything linked down below so you can check it out I will leave both his website, his main website and his Etsy, and then I will link uh, specifically the items that you see here, and then I will link them specifically for his website. So if you go to his Etsy, you can just look at everything that's listed and move around and choose and see. Um, but on his website, I will leave individual links for these items. So, yes. Now, let's get into it. So, I showed a bit of the box. So, we have one side where it details uh, what's in here. We have glyphs here on the side with the astrological and planetary glyphs. Benji is really not having it today. And yes, I know that dog's name <laughs> because of his owners always calling for him. Um, so, in the back here, it says, access the magic, utilize the knowledge, enhance your pro uh, practice. An oracle deck collection designed by and for witches to better access and utilize the knowledge and mystical powers of magic and witchcraft. So, yes, absolutely beautiful. So, I'm going to go ahead and tip that out over. I did put, so in the last... Um, video uh he included the certificate of authenticity i just put it in here in the in the box set um so yes that there okay so we're gonna go uh volume by volume so volume one is the herbology and garden magic says dive into the magical pages of a witch's grimoire this is the side and this is the back so it says an oracle deck collection designed and for witches to better access and utilize the knowledge and mystical powers of magic and witchcraft this is a 48 card deck that contains elemental connections astrological associations and pl uh, planetary correspondences uh, one invocation spell card, three card, uh, three spread cards, and fifty-two cards total. Um, it says embrace the magic, uh, magical connections, and knowledge of Mother Earth's powerful plants, flowers, and herbs. So when you open it, it looks like this. So 
So uh, we have the same thing as on the box. And then it says, uh, let this deck aid you in your journey while deepening your understanding connection of herbology and garden magic. We have a ribbon. Okay. And then inside, it says, may you open yourself to all of the profound connections that can be forged with our animal allies and let their guidance and love enrich your spiritual journey. Interesting. Okay, so I'll leave that here for now. Here's the book. And then we have the cards. Okay. So, there's actually two books. So, there was a problem with the printing of the particular guidebook that came with the deck. This one is gilt, as you can see. Where the pages ended up being darker than they were supposed to be. And with the black font, uh, it becomes hard to read, as you can see here. This is the dark brown. So what he did is he had it reprinted and then sent, reprinted without the gilding. Um, and then, there you go, see, uh, sent the new copies to people. So he included new copies for me. Uh, obviously the paper has changed. So this was actual paper, uh, and this is uh, just the waxy kind of paper, which I really don't mind. And I think this definitely, as you can see the difference, one is definitely more readable than the other, uh, in my opinion. So what I'm thinking is that for all the books, I'm going to actually put these in here and uh, put them in storage because these ones are gilded and I'm going to keep these ones uh, with the box is what I'm thinking. I don't believe there's any changes. Um, like everything should be the same. It's just the background. Um, was too dark and it's really hard to read. So, yes. So that's what I'm going to do. And of course, if you ended up getting this deck, then you would know all of this already. So I'm going to keep this sealed. Um, in the plastic. I'm going to do that for all of them. Okay. So we have uh, like a welcoming introduction kind of section. We have how to use this deck, uh, enhancing your magic. So using it for specific different things like spell work, rituals, daily affirmation, connections, uh, zodiac aspects, uh, guidance and wisdom kind of thing. Uh, we have some deck care and connection. We have an invocation spell. And then we have a uh, magic of e each card. So it tells you what each card has. So it, we have an image for reference, name and title, keywords, elemental connections, astrological associations, planetary correspondences, uh, guidance and connection, and magical affirmation. That's what you can expect. And then, of course, the entry um, as stated. So it actually tells you the information, glyphs, and things like that. So, of course, I'm going to read from the guidebook for every single card. Or for every single deck, rather. <laughs> Not for every single card. Uh, for every single deck, I'll pick one card each. And then, yeah. And we have some references at the back. So we have planetary references, uh, zodiac, and then elemental. So like quick, like a quick thing, like a quick little thing, quick guide or what, what not. Okay, so 
these are the backs. We have our deck invocation card. Spread one. Spread two. And spread three. Then we get into the actual cards. So we have aloe. Basil. Bay Laurel, uh, Borich, Borich, Broom, Catnip, Cedar, Chamomile, Clover, Coriander, which is also um, called um, cilantro, which I didn't know until recently. <laughs> uh, dandelion, dill, love dill. We use a lot of this in Jewish cooking. <laughs> Um, I don't want to pronounce this. Eucalyptus, 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 I don't know. Fern. Foxglove. Gardenia. Garlic. Um, geranium, right? Is that how you pronounce that? I have no idea. Hello, trope. <laughs> Sounds like a um, type of like romance trope or something. Hibiscus. <laughs> uh, um, holly. Hydrangea. This is like my favorite flower. Ivy. Jasmine. Juniper. Lavender. Uh, lemon balm. Lilac. Lily. Magnolia, Marigold, Mugwort, Mugwort, um, Mullion, Mullion, I don't know, Mustard, Peppermint, Pine, Rose, Rosemary, Sage, Spearmint, Sunflower, Thyme, Valerian, Wheat, Willow, Wisteria, and then lastly, Yarrow. Love them. Okay. I'm going to leave this to the side. And we're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to pull all the cards and read from the guidebooks at the end. So next we have volume two, which is gemstone, crystal magic, 
and it says dive into the magical pages of a witch's grimoire so the same thing as i think they all have the same thing on the front yeah except this part is different um we have the side the back so this is pretty much all the same tells you it has what it has and then at the bottom here it says embrace the magical connections and knowledge of mother earth's powerful crystals minerals and gemstones this is what it looks like inside same thing and then this one just changes uh, the last words to gemstone and crystal magic we have another ribbon. Okay. Same thing inside as the other one. This here. Okay. So, same issue where the font or rather the background uh, is, was darker uh, and it makes it hard to read the font. So I do have a non-gilded replacement. Uh, same type of paper as the other booklet. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put this um, in the plastic and then put the updated guidebook into the deck. And then this book is going to go in storage. So I'm still going to keep them. They're nice. They're nice. Uh, they're nicely gilt and everything. It's just a shame that a mistake was made on the end of the manufacturer. Um and it ended up being darker than it, what, it, what it was supposed to. So, yes. So I'm assuming the structure is pretty much the same as the previous booklet. Yep, introduction, how to use a deck, enhance your magic, uh, deck care and connections, invocation spell, uh, what you can expect with each card, which is the same for the other ones. And then it goes into the entry, which is the same layout. So no issues there. So again, we'll read from the guidebook um, after I've gone through all the decks. So we have the invocation card, which is not the same, I don't believe. Nope, not the same. So the invocation card uh, from the plant deck and then the uh, crystals. So they're not the same. So at least they have cards that are unique for each deck. In terms of like the invocation, probably the spreads as well. Yeah, lunar crystals, uh, crystal affirmations, and then crystal healing. So that's great. Then we have, uh, we have the cards. So we have Amber, Amethyst, Angelite, uh, Pashi Tear. A Pashi Tear? Not sure what this is. I've never heard of this one. Cool. Um, Aventurin. Bloodstone. This looks really cool. Uh, blue Kynite. Blue Kynite, I think. Uh, blue Lace Agate. Bumblebee Jasper. Carnelian. Cat's Eye, Citrin, 
clear quartz, copper, coral, emerald, uh, fluorite, garnet, golden healer. Golden healer. What's this? Interesting. Golden healer. What kind of stone is this? I'm kind of curious. To Google. To Google, everyone. To Google. Let's see. Golden healer. Crystal. Oh, I think it's a type of quartz. Type of quartz. Yeah, it's a type of quartz. Cool. That's cool. Uh, hematite. Howlite. Jade. Labradorite. I'd love a piece of this. I don't have one in my collection. Uh, lapis lazuli. Malachite, Moldavite, two of the stones that are probably the most exp <laughs> expensive right after each other. Um, Mukati Jasper, what is this Mukati? Mukati, did I pronounce that correctly? I don't know. Moonstone this is pretty. Uh, moss Agate. Uh, obsidian, orange calcite, um, peridot, 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 I don't know, uh, petrified wood, <laughs> I still find it funny that this is a crystal, but anyway, or considered gemstone or whatever it is, uh, pyrite, Red Jasper, uh, Rhodonite, Rose Quartz, Ruby, Sapphire, Selenite, uh, Serpentine, Smoky Quartz, Snowflake Obsidian, uh, uh, Solidite, Sodadite, Sodalite, Sodalite. What am I saying? I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, what am I reading? Uh, sunstone, <laughs> uh, Tiger's Eye, Topaz, and then Turquoise. Interesting. Okay. So those were the crystals and gemstones. I didn't show the backs, but these are the backs. So they're pretty much the same, except they change color depending on the theme. So the theme of this one's brown. Well, plants are uh, plants are green. Wow. My mind is just not here. Okay, then we move on to the volume three, which is the last volume. Fauna and Familiar Magic. So this is the side. This is the back. Everything is pretty much the same. Here at the bottom it says, Embrace the magical connections and knowledge of the Mother Earth's powerful creatures, insects, and animals. So all the boxes are consistent. Uh, they all open the same way. They all have ribbons. Um, we have uh, the same things written inside, and then it changes uh, per deck or per volume. So I do love the consistency uh, with that. Okay. 
So again, same issue as all the other books. Um, the pages end up being darker than they were supposed to be, so the font is hard to read. So again, I have updated copy, which again, I'm going to switch out and put in here so I can put in storage. Ugh, ugh. Doing this on camera is so hard. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so with the guidebook here, again, I'm sure the structure is the same. I do love consistency, though. Across a set, I like the consistency between the three. So we have the introduction welcoming, uh, how to use the deck, enhance the magic, uh, deck care and connections, invocation spell. We have what to expect on the card and in the entries and the entries themselves. And again, in the back, like all the other ones, we have uh, little reference pages, um, kind of like a quick guide. Uh, so yes. Yeah. So again, we're going to read from the guidebook after we go through all the cards. Okay. So we have a deck invocation. A spread one. Spread two and spread three and then we get into it so we have ant who hate ants uh, we have bat bear bee betta fish blue jay Bull. Look at the butterfly, so pretty. Monarch. Cat. Oh, a chameleon, love. A uh, coyote. Interesting, coyote, okay. Crab. <laughs> Crow. Deer, dog. I love how they did both the dog and the cat black. <laughs> they chose black animals. I love that. Oh, there goes the dolphin. Dolphin. Dove. Eagle. Elephant, fox, frog, hawk, hedgehog, horse, hummingbird, jellyfish, ladybug, Lion, Lizard, Moth, Mouse, huh, an Owl, so cute. We have a Parrot, Peacock, Praying Mantis, Rabbit, Raven, Salamander, Scorpion, Seahorse, Snail, Snake, Spider, Stag, Starfish, Tiger, 
turtle love turtles wolf is the last one nice oh i love that very much okay so i'm actually going to start by putting these cards at the bottom of the box because i don't need them to shuffle in Okay, so I'm going to do that for all of them, and then we're going to shuffle and pull a card. Okay, so let's start with the Witch's Grimoire Oracle. Shuffles like a dream. Cardstock is so nice. Um, it's like a mat. They're all gilded, gilded with the same type of gilding, which I actually really like. It's like soft. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. So that's great. Okay, so we're going to read for Valerian. Then we're going to shuffle from the Gemstone and Crystal. Okay, we're going to do copper. And then lastly, the familiar magic. Oh, I guess we're reading for bat. Okay. So I have the stand here that... Joseph sent me from the last video. Okay. Like this. Okay. So let's read in order. First, First up, Valerian. They're in alphabetical order in the guidebook, so it should be easy enough to find. Here we go, Valerian. So it says Valerian has the Latin water element, Venus, Aquarius. I walk through the veil to honor the ancestors that support me as as along my path support me along my path ancestor connection honor old traditions the veil the valerian card signifies connecting with your ancestors and honoring old traditions the veil between the living and the dead is thin and your ancestors are waiting to offer their guidance by connecting with your roots you can garner a deeper understanding of yourself and your place in the world. Remember, you are not alone on your journey as you have the support and guidance of your ancestors. Valerian is encouraging you to take some time to reflect on the traditions that have been passed down to you. Tap into the support from those who have come before you and remember that you are not alone. To connect with your ancestors, create a sacred space, for reflection and invite them to join you. Light candles, burn incense, or use any other ritualistic tools that resonate with you. Let your wisdom guide you on your journey. So this is what I read. Okay. Next up gemstone and crystal magic we have copper again alphabetical order so it should be easy to find copper this is associated with the root chakra earth element venus taurus libra i am open i am an open channel for the transformative energy of the universe and embrace my personal evolution with joy and gratitude personal evolution development universal energy 
Copper is a powerful metal that represents personal evolution and development. It is known for its ability to conduct and amplify universal energy, making it valuable tool, sorry, making it a valuable tool for spiritual growth and transformation. This is a message to release old patterns, embrace change and expand your consciousness, connect with the universal energy, tap into a limitless source of guidance, inspiration and manifestation. Uh, let the universal forces aid you towards a brighter and more fulfilling future. Know and remember that personal evolution is a lifelong journey and, on and ongoing process of growth, self-discovery, and self-improvement. Working with copper can serve as a supportive tool along the way. Open yourself up to the transformative power of the universe. Copper reminds you that you have the power to shape your own destiny. So this is what I read for copper. Okay. And lastly, we have the uh, fauna and familiar magic for bat. Again, as I stated for the previous two, everything is in alphabetical order, so everything should be easy to find. Bat, air element, Pluto, Scorpio. I approach the unknown with curiosity as I seek a deeper understanding of the world. Accepting the unknown. Curiosity, attune, understanding. The bat symbolizes accepting the unknown. Pulling this card in a reading could be a sign that you would benefit from embracing curiosity and approaching the mysteries of life with an open mind. Attune yourself to and trust in your connection with the spiritual realm. When you use these energies to your advantage, you can navigate the unknown with ease. As you navigate the unknown, you will encounter new opportunities, obstacles, and choices. By harassing the energies, sorry, by harnessing, <laughs> wow, by harnessing the energies of the spiritual realm, you will gain clarity and insight that can guide you towards making the best decisions for your path. Uh, the bat also encourages you to seek a deeper understanding of the world around you. This card represents the power of transformation while embracing the unfamiliar, um, can be challenging, it is important to remember that the universe, sorry, the universe is constantly changing and evolving. By welcoming the unknown, you can traverse life with confidence and grace. So this is what I read for Bat. So yes, so that was everything I read. These are the three decks. I absolutely love them honestly i'm excited to use them i'm planning to use them as like grimoire but also as like daily pulls maybe for um weekly readings and things like that as well i'm planning to use them this month or within the month that we're in i plan to use them uh so yes i'm excited let me know in the comments below what you think of these particular decks. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you so much again to Joseph from Grounded by the Moon for sending me this set. I absolutely love it and really appreciate your hard work on these decks and sending it to me to show on the channel. So again, I really appreciate you and thank you again so much. Uh, just a reminder, if you haven't seen my last video, unboxing all the other things that you can get on um, Joseph's website, definitely check out that video. It is linked in the cards above, so you can definitely uh, click the eye in the top right hand corner and it'll be linked there for you to go view. So Yes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated and helps me in the long run. Thanks so much and I hope that you have a great day.